Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me. Sorry if I look a little out of it. Um, I just got back from the gym and I did, decided to leave on my gym clothes because I didn't feel like changing. And um, also sorry about the lighting. The sun is going down. I'm going to try to work with it though. But uh, for today's video, I am doing a uh, shop my stash. And I haven't done one of these videos in a while. And there's really no reason as to why I haven't been doing them. I just have been kind of using whatever in my stash. And um, yeah. But I thought I would share with you guys uh, what I'm using this week. Or in the next couple weeks. I haven't really decided how long I'm going to use these products. But let me know if you would like me to continue to do these types of videos of shop my stash. Where I show you guys what I'm using for the week or month or just kind of what I'm using um, because I think they're really fun to do but uh, yeah I'm just going to get started here so for face primer I am going to be using my hourglass mineral veil face primer this is my only face primer that I own now in my collection which I'm pretty happy that I used all of my sampled and you know deluxe uh, sizes and just full-size primers but yeah this is what I'm using for face primer and I love this so I'm really excited to use that this week for foundation, I haven't used this in a while. I've been kind of focused on my Neutrogena Hydro Boost Foundation or Hydrating Tint. Um, but I've kind of been giving myself a little bit of a break from that just because it's getting hotter here or warmer here in Michigan and um, it's really not working for my skin as well as it once did. So I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. This is my favorite foundation and um, I want to see if I love it as much as I did uh, before I used my Neutrogena one. But uh, yeah, I really do like this foundation and I think I'm like round down to here so there's really not that much left and uh, I do want to use it up because it is getting to be about a year old or probably like eight months old and I kind of want to get it out of my collection before it goes bad. Moving on to concealer, I have the Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the shade Light and I do like this concealer. I use it quite frequently. Usually I mix in with a more full coverage concealer to kind of give it more of a dewy look but I just kind of want to try this on its own this week. I love the way this concealer smells. I don't know if that's just me, but it smells really good, and I don't know. Um, but I want to try this concealer on its own, see if I like it as much as I do when it's mixed with other concealers. I always do set this concealer anyways. But I'm going to kind of jump around a little bit um, here for eyeshadow this week. Um, I kind of want to throw in my Subculture palette and use this with, along with other palettes. I've been kind of experimenting with more colorful looks. If you follow me on Instagram, it's just Beauty by Mary Kay. I will put the, like handle here if you guys want to like follow me but and see like what makeup looks I post on there but um yeah I kind of want to play around with this more because I have liked the looks that I've come up with when I use this palette but I want to give this some more love and I want to incorporate it with some other palettes but for those of you who have never seen this palette this is what it looks like it's more of a fall palette, I would say, but um, I think, you know, for the spring and summer, I might try to, or for the summer, um, I might try to incorporate these, like, yellows and kind of yellow-orange, and this Roxy, sh and this Roxy shade would be amazing, um, and some of these other colors would look nice on the lower lash line, so I want to give this palette a little bit more love, but um, I will definitely be incorporating some other palettes and shadows with this uh, palette as well. I also really want to play around with my Stila Glitter and Glows. I have two of them and I have Kitten Karma and uh, Smoky Storm and I am actually wearing Smoky Storm all over my lid today and I l absolutely love these but sometimes I forget to use them and I know that's bad because these are pretty pricey and I always leave them on my vanity but for whatever reason sometimes I just like look right past them so I want to make an effort. I just want to use each of these once. Um, I would ideally like to use them more than once but we will see um, but I do love these and I just want to focus on using them a little bit more. This week I want to use the um, Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush, or, I'm sorry, Ambient Strobe Lighting Blush, and um, I love the Hourglass blushes, uh, they're some of my favorite, but I really haven't used this one all that often, so I just want to use this and give it some love. For contour or bronzer this week, I want to use the Anastasia Powder Bronzer in Rosewood. I love this so much, it's like my favorite bronzer, so I will have no issues using this, but... I just love this. I feel like it blends so easily and honestly I probably could declutter the rest of my bronzers if I wanted to because I love this one so much. 
highlighter this week. Um, if you haven't seen the haul that I posted, I did recently pick up the Anastasia Dream Glow Kit, and I definitely want to use this this week because I just want to use it, and it's new to my collection and whatnot, but this is what it looks like. It's very colorful, and I also kind of want to try these on my eyes and see if I like them on my eyes or how it looks, you know. We will see, but yeah, I definitely want to use that because I just got it and I want to try it out some more. And then finally, I want to use my Marc Jacobs Enamored Shine Lip Gloss in the shade Taboo. I typically play around with my lip products and just with my, you know, I don't really use the same one every single day or whatnot. But um, I wanted to throw in this lip gloss because I am actually trying to use this up. I love this lip gloss. I'm going to put some on right now. But I love this gloss because it's not super, it's minty, but it's not like the buxom glosses where it actually, you can feel like the tingling sensation. There is no tingling sensation with these. It's just like a minty, fresh tasting gloss, I feel like. Does that make sense? Um, but yeah, I love this and I feel like it goes with anything and everything. And uh, yeah, I just want to continue to use this because I do want to move it out of, out of my collection just because, I don't know, I just want to. And I love it and uh, it would be one less lip product out of my collection. So yeah, guys, that's what I'm using for, I guess, this week or just however long I feel like using these products. And please let me know if you would like me to continue to do these Shop My Stashes because I don't really do them too often, but when I do, I do enjoy doing them and I'm sorry about the workout attire. In my next video I will be wearing something much cuter. But uh yeah, thank you guys for watching and please take a moment and subscribe if you haven't done so already and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.